Thank you, Chairman. I'm Kate Saku from the National Cerebral and Cardiovascular Center. And uh, I, I need to say that uh, I don't prepare any specimen <laughs> slide. And my, my presentation may be completely different from the other <laughs> presentation, but um, I, you will enjoy my presentation, right? So the, I work at the National Cerebral and Cardiovascular Center. It is the only national center targeting on the cardiovascular diseases. And actually, I'm, I'm a physician, but 100% uh, of my work is the research. So we are conducting the research and development based on the old cardiac physiology. For example, the, the Otto Frank, Ernest Starring, Gaiton, Kit Sagawa, uh, uh, Hiroichi Suga and Kenji Sunagaro. Actually, these two persons are the, are the previous director of my department. And uh, I would like to have a self-introduction of my lab. So we are the department of cardiovascular dynamics. We have a many operation room of animal laboratory. It's the human grade. And uh, many fellows are here and we are conducting many research. For example, goat, mouse, dog, many, uh, many, uh, we use the many animals, about uh, 300 animals. And we, the, the many uh, ultrasound or something, the assessment uh, modality are equipped in this facility. And we have many cardiologists and a surgeon, anesthesiologist, and clinical engineering. So almost every every day, we are conducting such researches. And today, I would like to talk about the impeller. So what is impeller? So I would like to talk in detail about that. So that I have two law in this uh, EPSIS 2024. The one is this session, the intervention heart failure therapy. I would like to introduce of impeller and heart failure management strategy using impeller. In addition, the importance of optimization in cardiogenic shock. And second session, I would like to, deep, I would like to show you the more deep, uh, deep field of the uh, hemodynamic and the cardiac physiology. So the, the, this is a very basic lecture and uh, in Japan, most physicians, when I, when I see or the reason my, uh, this, this type of lecture, uh, the most physicians fall asleep. <laughs> anyway, so I understand that the uh, Imperial is not approved in Korea, so the, I would like to show you the basic principle of the Imperial. Imperial is the catheter type left ventricular assist device. It withdraws the blood from the left ventricle and ejects it to the aorta like this. So we can, uh, have, uh, the, this catheter supports the three or the five liter of the, the, uh, of the heart. So Impera is a proctonous left ventricular assist device and Impera supports hemodynamics with left ventricular unloading. Left ventricular unloading is the keyword of Impera. I would like to show you the detail. And in addition, the indication for cardiogenic shock in Japan. So the impera is less invasive by using the catheter technique and it can support hemodynamics with LV unloading. This is the principle of impera. So, but the impera has many issues. Uh, the most uh, important issue is the increase of adverse event. It increases moderate or severe breathing over 20%. And the using impera increases the renal replacement therapy. So the management of these adverse events is the key of the management of impera. In addition, impera is so high cost. The twenty-five thousand dollar per catheter. So yes, such expensive medicine, we need more the clinical uh, clinical benefit. So the risk benefit, cost benefit is the key of the impera management. Anyway, the, I would like to show you the, how the impera supports the hemodynamics and airway unloading. The left panel shows the hemodynamic support and right panel shows the PV loop. The PV loop is the Y axis pressure, uh, airway pressure. X axis shows the airway volume. 
So why I, I show you the, this LV, LV pressure, uh, pressure, pressure volume loop is that the, it indicates the LV workload. If the loop go to the upper, upper light, it indicates the LV was loaded by something. But if the loop go to the lower, lower light, lower left, it indicates the LV unloading. As you can see, Imperial moved the LV PV loop to the lower left. It indicates the LV unloading. Imperial increases the LV pressure, which decreases the AP and move the pressure volume loop to lower left. It indicates the LV unloading. So the 50% of the impeller is the combination of ECMO in Japan. And the ECMO, as you can see, ECMO increases the PV loop like this, upper left. So it ECMO loaded the heart. But with doing a brat directory, directory from the brat, Imperial deduces the LV, LV PV loop like this. So the, in, and we call the ECMO, and the, in the ECMO condition, we, could, we can get the higher hemodynamic support with LV unloading like this. So the PV loop enables us to understand the sweet spot of each MCS. The, the next session, I would like to show you the, how the IABP or ECMO impact on the PV loop. But the uh, impeller apparently decreased the PV loop like this. So the in, the, in the era of impeller, we can provide both hemodynamic support and every unloading by MCS. And the optimization may be the key word of the, in the era of impeller. So I think the impeller is an optimizing tool for hard failure intervention. As we know, the heart failure has many phases, acute phase, chronic phase, and end stage phase. In such conditions, we need many modalities to treat heart failure. And the impera, it can provide the hemodynamic support and the airway unloading. It optimizes these procedures of the heart failure interventions. So the interventional heart failure therapy is a concept to optimize the complicated heart failure interventions by using treatment modality and support devices. So I would like to introduction of the new heart failure treatment strategy using Impera. Yeah, it, it, uh, it also uh, doing in the uh, United States and Japan. So the in, in Japan, Impera is only indicated for the cardiogenic shock. It uh, stopped the negative spiral of cardiogenic shock. But the, to go to the basic concept, Imperial redress the oxygen supply demand balance. So Imperial increases the cardio, uh, coronary perfusion pressure, it increases the oxygen supply, and Imperial induces the LV unloading, it decreases the oxygen demand. So the redress of the oxygen supply demand balance may be good for the, some, uh, uh, some ischemic condition. So we hypothesize that the Impera in the acute phase of the myocardial infarction reduces the infrax type. The result is enormous. The, before reperfusion, we use the impeller, like impeller and check the infrax site a month after the uh, myocardial infarction in DOC, and the infrax site significantly decreased like this. The similar concept already has been reported in all over the world using GOAT, PIG, and DOC. So the, the many, some researchers said door to unloading instead of door to reperfusion. So now in the United States, STEMI DT trials are, is ongoing. The pilot trial is well conducted. And now in the pivotal phase, so the, about the 600 patients are enrolled and they, uh, they evaluated how the impera in the acute phase of myocardial infarction before reperfusion reduces the infarct size. Maybe the result will open next year. In addition, the, during PCI, we, have, we encountered many hemodynamic collapsing and the decrease of cardiac function like this. The, this is a systolic function, and the decrease of systolic function exacerbate the hemodynamics like this. We could not get the uh, appropriate blood pressure and increase the RAP, sometimes ACE3. In such condition, IABP done 
uh, impure than IBP uh, have a powerful support effects during high-risk PCI. And in the United States, the accumulation of evidences for high-risk PCI enable, the, enable us to use the, the impairer, the high-risk PCI uh, field. And uh, after FDA approval of high-risk PCI, Impel now focuses on the guideline recommendation from PROTECT4 trial. So this is a PROTECT2, this is, uh, this is the RCT and the targeting for the FDA approval. The 90-day intro and post-procedure major event rate were significantly lower in the Impel group, uh, group, group, leading to a relative risk reduction of 22% percent compared to IABPM. So Imper got the approval in this, uh, by this study. So the, in Japan, there is a many cases of the bailout. The, if the cardiac function decreased and we observed the, the hemodynamic frailty in the patient during PCI, usually we use IABP like this. IABP increased the cardiac perfusion pressure, a coronary perfusion pressure, but did not change the hemodynamics at all. So in such cases, we sometimes encounter more worsening of the cardiac function. So the, in such cases, the IABP cannot support the hemodynamics anymore. So we use the ECMO. But ECMO can increase the blood pressure, but it increased the cardiac load and LVEDP. In such cases, we encountered pulmonary edema. So then we used Impella in this condition. Yeah, as, as I said, as I, as I show you the slide, Impella increases further the blood pressure and decreases the LVEDP like this, and the PBL move to the lower left. It is good, but the delay of appropriate MCS in hemodynamics in stable PCA increases hemodynamic risk, medical cost, and load of medical staff. So the early initiation of the uh, appropriate MCS is important. So now the several uh, clinical uh, reports indicated the utility of impair for heart failure management during high-risk uh, high risk aberration and high-risk TABI and high-risk MTA. In addition, there is many report, a lot of reports have been reported, have been reported uh, using the Imperial for high-risk surgery. So VSP may be the good option of the Imperial because it redress the forward flow by, by withdrawing blood from the LV. Because when the VSP occurred, the blood flow, the LV blood flow go to the light heart. So the, they cannot get the enough forward flow. The PB loop is uh, like this and the hemodynamic collapse occurred by the VSP. In, in such cases, impera redresses the forward flow and increase the blood pressure like this and decrease the VSP flow like this. So the, in, in Japan, the, maybe the, uh, one or two weeks uh, impera implantation can wait, the, the, can, stay, uh, can stabilize the hemodynamics, and the, the, the surgeon can wait uh, uh, one or two weeks, and then they uh, provide the su surgery for, the, for, closing the P, for closing the VSP. So there is uh, many upcoming evidences and uh, the preparing and uh, recently, we have uh, we, uh, the danger shock trial is open. It is the first uh, the trial that is the MCS can improve the long-term outcome of cardiogenic shock. Death from any cause at 180 days in per group is significantly increase the mortality. Uh, with, uh, mortality reduction reduce the mortality. So uh, the, anyway, the uh, appropriate decision requires a multidisciplinary team, and the, the regional, uh, regional network is also important. The, there is a many uh, report the importance and uh, the emphasis, the importance of protocol and regional network. So summary. Impera is a percutaneous left ventricular assist device designed to increase systemic blood flow and reduce left ventricular mechanical workload in a support-dependent manner. 
Impel has accumulated substantial evidence supporting its enhanced safety profile, increased success rate, and improved outcome across various heart failure interventions. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.